There you go, on to Mayonnaise. Fishing water gets brought out by the Thresh. Now on to Keisha. He pays the week's best to soak up damage. Eating up the bear trap, Unruffy does the fell away. The color is just too much, and that would be a cleanup for Navi with a double kill. Here's Stagger to throw down. Shurpo getting the reset to see Nazir oh. is gone. And the rest on the name of the leader will be doing the cleanup work. It's a double very wings get it blocked out here with an item. As he leaves, he's gonna make the number one seed from the beaten up one, but it's still a game. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the last day of the group stages of the Lenovo LCL 2017 Spring Term Challenge What You Know. We will be your shotcasters for the last day. I am Vulcan and joining with me is my co-caster, Atlas. Of course, coming into this interconference series. This is Group A. What we always said was the death group coming into the interconference series. So it's going to be intense. Uh, the standings are actually uh, quite volatile. So we're going to see all of that later coming into this game. So TUP is going to have their last match today. Uh, TUP, they are at four points because uh, three wins, uh, one, one of which was a 2-0, -oh, one was a 1-1. One -one. For how it's going to be three points because they have a 2-0 -oh, uh, last, uh, last last week. And they do have two matches today. As for Ateneo de Davao University, Rite of Passage, they have their last match today as well. They had a 1-1 one -one and a 0-2. As for Ateneo de Manila University, as your Eagles, they're standing at a 0-2 right now. Uh, they will have two matches later today. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very interesting. Not to mention the first game will dictate. Mm -hmm. And also the succeeding game, the second game is going to be the most important game. Where it's going to be between the second match. Where it will determine the flow of the standings. I mean, everyone right now still has a chance. So, right now, what are these teams fighting for in the Group A? Is to enter the semifinals. Whoever wins today will face UC that side. You see Scythe, definitely one of the contenders coming from Group B. Um, as, er, as for yesterday, that almost completed Group C and Group D. JBL, Maroon Dragons, and UPD, Oblation Esports, will be facing wow. off in that uh, part of the semifinal. So it's very intense. Um, all those teams narrowed down into these 16 teams and then narrowed down further into four teams. Yes. Wow. It's really interesting to see the game between JBL versus UPD. I mean, UPD has the cleanest. Uh, yeah, JBL game. as well. Uh, JBL as well. So it's going to be a very interesting semifinals. But moving on to the Group A, I gotta say, Holy Angels University is somewhat a team you have to watch out for. Yeah. Because, not to mention TUP, because these two teams are the powerhouses here. They can, di they can dictate how the Group A will follow up. Of course, Ateneo de Manila and Ateneo de Davao University. This is going to be intense. Uh, of course, Battle of the Ateneos is going to be the uh, game plan here. Let's look at their pick and bans. First part of the pick and bans is going to be the Karma, Kled, and Sejuani banned out against ADDU. And as for ADDU, they're going to be banning out the Fizz, Maokai, and Zack. So a lot of the reworked tanks that are available to use now, they are banning them out. Even after the nerfs in 7.10, oh. they are quite still potent, very disruptive. Uh, well, so it's understandable. Yeah, I mean... They are very disruptive, but they've been, they've been nerfed down. But yes. I don't think that's enough. Because not to mention Sejuani has that annoying lockdown that... A lot point of click permafrost yeah. as well. That's the biggest thing as for Zack. We saw how effective Zack can oh, be. Oh yeah, the rework uh, Zack has more CC, not to mention yeah. brings more to a team fight. More interactivity, yeah. as well as the Maokai. Maybe the ult, uh, a lot of people complain it's very slow, but it, it's very effective. Um, if you use it correctly. If you use it correctly, if you zone him out from a tower, uh, use it to up your siege, the lane control as well, uh, the jungle control with the sampling. So understandable they would ban it out. The Kled and the Fizz, very popular top laners, very potent, uh, lots of damage. Or as for Atene, let's look at their picks. The first pick in their mid lane immediately for Sino, gonna be the Syndra. Is and that wise though? I mean, her high priority pick on the Syndra. Already, ba already picking it out, revealing uh, that's actually a lot of information. Could work to disadvantage, but the pattern here is for Admiral. In the past few weeks, they've been putting Sino in these utility mid laners, and that's really not something. Uh, that they want to do because a lot Sino has a lot of the carry potential in Admiral. Uh, if he goes for utility, a lot of the weight, the burden of carrying will have to go to Jules, who, which, oh. who has been inconsistent in the past weeks. Uh, he is a freshman, so that's a little bit understandable, but uh, but that is effective that mm. making sure that Sino is able to get a carry mid laner off the bat. 
But I still think that uh, Cena will be doing well again with the Syndra because when you reach the level 6 of the Syndra, it, un it unlocks the power where you can point and click burst an yeah. enemy champion. But that only works where if you are snowballing enough in the lane. But not to mention, so we're going to be. Zen to yeah, that. we're actually going to be seeing Kitanda. Uh, picking the Anivia mid for his team, but... Yeah, Spiri will be picking will up be that enough. Anivia. Well, for Anivia, uh, he is able to survive the initial burst of the Unleashed Power. But then you're a sitting egg. duck. But then you're a sitting duck. You're a sitting duck's egg. But uh, that could be one of the ways that they're trying to mitigate the an assassination potential come from Sino. Of course, we'll see all that play out. It's still going to be up, up to Kitanda and Zen to pressure the lanes. Uh, getting the Graves and the Lee Sin really one of the few choices you have you don't really want to pick the uh the kha'zix into the graves something that's not really uh, effective coming into that the supports here from uh, adams uh, uh, rather atenea de dava is going to be the morgana as for atenea de manila it's going to be the bard mm, interesting and not to mention we're going to be seeing a uh, galio top i gotta say i mean galio top right now is actually powerful you should not underestimate it if he farms enough to actually get a lot of itemizations off he is a force to be reckoned yeah. with. Not to mention, it will require two members to be invested yeah, there. Yeah, he can just get out and yeah. yell to his team when he hears entrance or help him out. Interestingly, interestingly for Rite of Passage, oh, yeah. Happy is going back to the top lane. Just going back, slotted back to the top lane. This main shot caller for ADDU, so definitely this might change up a, thing, a few things on ADDU's macro play. As for Gosu, from the top lane, going, going to back eight? to his roots, into even for his namesake in NA, going to the AD carry role on that Ash. So, lots of lockdown, oh, lots of slow potential coming from ADDU. This is very interesting. I mean, we're seeing a lineup change onto ADDU. Yeah, I, this is where it comes to play, man. The last day of the group stages, you don't want to cut corners. But I hope for uh, At Ateneo de Manila's sake that Jules has to be the one to perform well. Yeah, Not to mention, Cino is very consistent. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a test for Jules as well. Um, it's going to be hard though, because now Happy's back on ADDU. He's going to be the main shot caller. Oh, man. Uh, How the will macro play, play is going to be on point. Goso back to his ADC role, so that's where he's most comfortable. After all, he named himself after Hi, I'm Gosu. So he was always top KDA, top gold, top damage in his and his team's games. Top the, death. How yeah. about top death? That top KDA. Yeah. 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 So coming to that. Uh, it's gonna be very scary for Admu because th the pressure is on is on them because they have a z they're sitting on a zero two right now. So yeah. they so if they want even a sliver of a chance to get out of group stages, out of interconference, they need to two zero their two matches today, and that's gonna be very difficult. But if they can so pull off, if, if they can pull it off, they'll be sitting at six points. Uh, if they can pull it off, if ever they do sweep this game at this first match and move on to second match between how. I gotta say, the group A, sticking to its name, the, the death group. The, 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 sorry, the death group. I mean, I can't really stress enough that how is something you have to watch out for. Yeah. And seeing that that second match will dictate the flow of the group stage. Yeah, it's like this. If T if TOP 2 O's that match, they're gonna be sitting at seven points. Oh my God. And if they go for one one, it's gonna be they're gonna be sitting at five points. Uh, on the other hand, if how gets the 2 0, they're going to be sitting at six points since they're currently undefeated, which means that How is the one to beat. And since they have another game, if How gets TUP, that two, no? yeah. Yeah. I mean, going back to what you said, you were talking about How, but what about TUP? Yeah, TUP. If they can get the 2 0 this game, uh, this uh, today, uh, it is the second match. Mm. If they get the 2 0, they'll be sitting at seven points, and then they're auto in. They're auto in into the semifinals. But that's if they get the 2-0. That's low. if, though. Yeah. And if, but how is a force to be reckoned with? If they turn it into 1-1-1, one, 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 uh, how, how will be sitting at 4 points and still be able to get the 7 points? Well, I guess we're going to... If gonna they get a 2-0 later. Yeah, we're going to see that it can't be a 2-0 at all. It has to be a 1-1 one, one yeah. for them to even have a chance for a tiebreaker. No, definitely no chance for tiebreaker because yeah. even if they they tie at six points, if how uh, the only possible way is for Admu to get six points right, and then how if they reach six points, it's a tie in terms of points. But so since many how, but since how two zero Admu, uh, they will ought to lose the tiebreaker just by by default. So Man. definitely, it's a very volatile group. It's a very deadly group. But the most important thing is match two. But to reach those steps, if ever, Admu needs to get these two O's if he wants, if they want to get into like the zone and try to get even a sliver of a chance getting into uh, semifinals. 
But it's gonna be scary for uh, Admo. Not to mention Jules has not been performing that well. And now that goes very is consistent. Yeah. Now that Gosu is going back to his ADC role, I'm pretty curious how the game will play out. Yeah, because it's going to be a little bit on the bot lane. Yeah. Um, a lot of pressure onto Jules to survive in that bot lane against Gosu. As I mentioned, we're, we're going to be seeing some junglers like the Zach. Like the, that's, uh, the Zach's being banned out, but we're going to expect that Admus jungler. He has to visit the bot lane, but yeah. it's also a risk that if he keeps visiting the bot lane, what happens to the man? What happens to the top lane? Yeah, because uh, I think Sino can survive very well um, but that in is the mid lane against the Anivia. That is actually pre-6, but after 6, I think he can handle himself pretty well. Mm. Of course, we are loading on to the Summoner's Rift here for Game 1 in the last day of the Interconference Series. It's going to be Ateneo de Manila University, Azure Eagles versus Ateneo de Davao University, Rite of Passage. It's Battle of the Ateneos here in the Summoner's Rift. Let's see how our players uh, play their level 1s. <laughs> and not to mention, who is... The better at the AOT. Definitely going to be seeing that today. They might even see themselves clashing already in the bot lane. Let's hope they've yeah. done their practice. I mean, we've, yeah. we, ex we see some LCL teams. They reach this far from dedication, sacrifice, and practice. Mm -hmm. We see that from JBL. Yeah. From the other group stages, this is not a time for excuses. They have, Definitely to, they not. have to not make any mistakes. And not to mention... Jules is something you have to watch out for. Same as Gosu. Right now, he's on, a B on the ADC role. Yeah, back to his roots. Oh, man. So definitely going to be something that they have to watch out for. Because otherwise, it's going to be flop. Because uh, flop. Mm -hmm. ADD right now, they're not really sitting at the best. Uh, this is their last match. Mm -hmm. So they have to 2-0 this if they want the to remove Admo's chances of getting out of group stages. And now we're going to be seeing the <laughs> nerfed junglers. I mean... Huge nerfs coming in from the Leeson and the Graves. The Graves, definitely. Yeah, Losing Graves. a lot of burst, base damage, rather, um, in the early game. So it kind of hurts his clear, hurts his ganking a lot. But I, th I still think he's one of the best junglers right now. Oh. One of the most consistent. Has the capability to carry. And I can see right now that he actually used his cleanse. Oh, that's, I'm not that's must be a misclick. Yeah, but that's going to be a price misclick. he might pay yeah. if ever a gank does happen. If the, if the, yeah, if the Flash Frost coming from yeah. Spiri hits him and he doesn't have the cleanse for it and Kitanda is able to follow up, mm -hmm. that is just a huge price to pay for Seno. Maybe the nerves getting to him, but it's still unexcusable. It is. Yeah, like I said. Yeah, all the pressure is on them to get that six, th those six points today. Mm, and curious enough, we're going to be seeing Galio against the Swain. Mm. Galio being the anti AB champion he is, he might have an easier time, but I gotta say on to Zen, his passing right now starts to red, so he might eye on to the mid lane yeah. first. You gotta proc the pass of the Anivia for to give room to Zeno to burst it. Yeah, that that is very possible. Coming into this though, um Admu versus ADDU. Of course it's a, like a battle of brothers here. Uh, I really think that it's gonna be this top lane and this mid lane. I think it's gonna be the thing, the lanes to look at here. Kitanda and Zen did start around that uh, side, of pathing that allows them to be very versatile in terms of where they gank, especially Kitanda. Get that fast clear coming for Raptors Red into Wolves. Probably gonna go for a full clear of his uh, bottom side jungle. We're gonna see how Zen actually transitions that from the blue buff. But the problem is, is that Fupi naturally pushes the top lane. Yeah. Because of his kit, you can't really stop Galio from slow pushing the lane. So it's going to be a little bit hard to gank for him. So probably going to be going for Spiri here. Very low mobility, low base move speed. The perfect target for Elise Sin. And not to mention, if you actually burn any summoners onto Spiri, it's very rewarding. It's very worth it. And gives Sen a lot of room to work with. You, re you remove a summoner spell onto Spiri. That's already removing the possibility for him to have an escape. But you gotta expect that Kitanda on that grave yeah, already Kitanda. invading. And the Raptors camp really visiting in. He is already gonna be seeing the flow of the jungle. But yeah. we gotta see that Zen is doing the same thing. They're yeah, really knowing the pathing of the opposing jungle yeah. here. Uh, which allows them to Yeah, which really allows them to have some free time here to counter it counter invade. Oh right now, see from that oh, Raptors. Man. Making his way slowly he to the no mid lane. He has no here. Yeah, but he does have his flash, but the scatter the weak yeah. will save him. Definitely, but it, it, this does block him off from a little bit of a CS. 
Uh, the experience, I think, is the, one of the most important things here, which delays uh, Xenos yeah. level 6. That is just one caster minion, but that could make the difference. Still, the pressure from Zen, uh, rather the pressure from Kitanda being there, just showing himself, means that Spear, uh, that Seno cannot relax. And look at that damage coming from Mikos' bar, but I gotta say, I think a bar would be a really good pickup for Kanin. Kanin does have the range and damage. Hmm. But when it comes to roaming, is it safe knowing that there is a Graves? But right now in the mid lane, oh, Zen, Zen is making his way towards Spirit. Stunned away, he does have a flash and he does make Ooh. it under the turret. Passive not even burnt. Yeah, but he did burn the summoner spell. Yeah, the summoner but spell is important. Yeah, this is the problem with ADD Spirit. He has this tendency to be caught out because he's very new to the LCL scene. The yeah. pressure is on. Pressure is also. Um, so it's both onto Jules and Spiri. And of course, Spiri is very new uh, in the into the LCL scene. Jules is a freshman. So these are two that have to step up because you can't use that excuse that, oh, I'm new, oh, I'm a freshman. Um, coming into this late into the group stages, into the interconference series. Yeah, it's like, why did you come here knowing that you would make it this far? Mm. You have the mentality, the readiness that you have to face top tier team. Moving but on to the semifinals. So far, however, it seems like Jules is surviving very well. Uh, because oh Michael Oh boy, Kitanda okay. don't... Please? Oh. He did spot him out. Yeah, he did spot Just him out. Just denies him that last little krug there. The 10 gold game changer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bandit. It's like getting the bandit proc before la uh, the lane start. Please no. It's like this. Um, Mika's picking up the bard, I think, is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, Mika's is free to roam. Very mobile throughout the map. I think, and Jules on that cave lane is very safe. Can survive yeah. that 1v2 as long as he plays it properly. And not too much. Plus, yeah. Plus, putting off a lot of pressure yeah. from babysitting mm. Jules. That also, the fact that he will be under his turret range a lot. Denying Kinanda of those guys. That's going to be big. I mean, a great relies on a oh lot boy. of pressure. <laughs> But raptor think, camps. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh. you gotta be a god face Leeson, but you can't deny that the Raptors are stronger than you. Yeah, they are the most lethal jungle camp, <laughs> even after they've been reworked ne and nerfed to be less punishing. Uh, yeah, even if they've been reworked to be less punishing, the Raptors definitely are the ones that hurt the most and have yes. the most deaths associated with them. In the mid lane, Sino and Spiri. Look at SCSD. This, uh, that is at least three waves of minions in the lead wow. for Sino. What does this mean? Zeno will already unlock the level 6. Not to mention, he does have the gold. And right now, we don't see any buy items yet so far, reaching into 7 minutes nearly to the game. But yeah, but this is about an amplifying Tome's lead in terms of Zeno, which mm. can make the difference in the lane. And he first picked the Syndra. And it doesn't seem like Ateneo de Davo University is punishing it too hard. Oh, this is the confidence be. for Admu to first pick a carry mid laner for Zeno is very rewarding for them so far. Of course, uh, there was that gank from Kitanda, but Sino played it very well, able to escape very easily. Man, it's gonna be scary. <laughs> like what you said with the Sino on the Syndra. Has the gold advantage, the wave clear, and denying Spiri, and not to mention Anevia scales into the late game so late. Which but is uh, something that we need to keep an eye on. Yeah. Uh, sure. But a lot of IDDU is late game scaling. The if Graves. The Anivia, the Swain, even, yeah. and the biggest problem, the biggest caveat for Admu here is that their composition needs to be ahead in the mid game. They need to get ahead in the mid game so they can get a really good uh, team fights and skirmishes out. And so Zen, so far he hasn't had a lot of ganks, uh, much lower CS compared to Kitanda. So that might be a problem later here. Zen, of course, trying to go for a gank onto Spiri here with Miko's Rome. But still not coming to fruition. It's still a lot of pressure onto Spiri, so Sino's a little bit more free to do whatever he wants mid lane. But Zen's not getting a lot of kills. Diff Zen's uh, so behind in CS compared to Kitanda, yeah, which is going to be a problem for Ali Sin different and the rest of Admin. Coming in from mm. the teams. And not true. to mention, as you said, the pressure coming from the junglers are not yet here because they're in the A Wizard game. That vulnerability is gone. Mm. So it's very difficult for any of these teams to have a successful gank. And not to mention, it's 8 minutes into the game, no first blood yet, no lead, so no pressure to any lane. Which is fine for a ADDU, because they can just relax in the early game as long as they're not dying. Even though there's a 20 CS difference between the mid lanes, that can be worked with. Um, the later the game goes, that 20 CS difference, say, what's the difference between 200 CS and 220? It's only that relevant in the early game. If they can survive the early game, that means uh, Zen will become irrelevant as a Lee Sin that didn't snowball. Um, 
and mid lane Sino, even if he has that the CS lead I said earlier, it will not matter if he doesn't snowball with kills and with this damage later into the game, which allows ADDU to relax a bit, knowing that the pace, this slow pace of the game right now is actually in their favor. Yeah. Happy's gonna scale up, gonna be that unkillable face tanking, uh, health regenerating Swain, Kitanda on that Graves just dealing lots of DPS along with Gosu, and then Spiri. Uh, same thing. Lots of DPS, lots of lockdown. The wall, oh. uh, the crystallize thing to be very big. Tanda might be ahead in terms of the gank timing. If he gets a good one here, there's no ward for Foopy. Not to mention, removing the blue buff from Zeno. Yeah, that's wow, the biggest thing as well. that is big. And giving blue buff to Spiri, that's going to be huge in the laning. We might see that the CS deficit that Spiri had will be gone because he does have the blue buff. Yeah, now that he has the blue buff, the Glacial Storm is going to be much, has much more uptime. Might be Foopy in trouble though. I don't think so. He does flash away. He's still tanky and very healthy. Just Kintanda showing some presence and running from summoners. Yeah, which allows ha Happy to get back in CS a little bit. Uh, yeah, the biggest thing there was that Spiri Got the blue buff. Wow, Zeno trying to get go for a steal there. He's oh like, give man. me back my blue buff. <laughs> Zeno's very sad right now. I mean, he does not have his blue buff. And not to mention, Zen got robbed of his own blue buff. And not to mention, a CS lead for Kitanda. But right oh, now, they might be going for some revenge. Very here. Oh. personal. They want their blue buff. Resonating Strike will not connect. Here comes Nikos for the flag with the stun. And there is the follow up. Zeno, though, has the ultimate. Unleash the power. No, it will be oh, Jules giving man. the first blood. Yeah, Miko's roaming there to try and help out Sino and Zen. Leaves Jules open for that uh, destruction against Carlay and Gosu. I and still Gosu, have yeah. my blue buff. Yeah, and that's, that's the spirit. He's like, sliver of health. Still has his passive. And still has his blue buff. <laughs> and not to mention, just from the. Uh, distraction they did in the mid lane. Yeah. Jules was left alone. Yeah, Carl Lay uh, didn't even need to use his ult there. Just he got the binding down against Jules. Uh, Gosu used the enchanted crystal arrow though, and the exhaust coming from Carl Lay. But that was first blood onto an Ash against the Caitlyn. That's pretty big. And the Mika's uh, picking Bard up. It wasn't Good. his mistake. It wasn't his mistake there. Because um, I do believe that. The, uh, the Caitlyn is ooh, oh boy, that might be his blue buff. Give <laughs> that me he gets my his blue, blue buff. buff, and he does get it. Unfortunate. That's actually huge for the mid lane. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. If you put it this way, you kill a blue golem, you get a hundred gold and a blue buff. Right now, Kitanda was like the blue golem, except he gives three hundred. Three hundred. That's actually huge because yeah. that ex that may, that means Sino's uh, blue buff who might actually last long enough for the next blue buff yes. on his side to spawn it once again. And with that said, Kitanda, fresh from the fountain, this gives Anu an yeah. opener for a mountain. But, but it is a tankiest Drake. It is risky. Oh, oh man. That's very low. Coming down some HP now. He's an egg, egg form. Here comes Happy from the top lane. Miko has forced out his flash. But here comes the Temper Pain. Happy will be in stasis for a while, but no follow up whatsoever. More of a disengage. Yeah, and this does give the Dragon control onto ADDU now. They won't be uh, going for it. Uh, it is still quite dangerous. The teleport was burned by Happy, so the threat of Foopy going there is still very real. And and Zen was very low. Uh, after all of that, plus uh, the rest of Admu might be a bit too dangerous to fight for that Drake. It is the Mountain Drake, so taking too long to kill that is going to be very dangerous. Very sad to see that the Junglers are not even dictating the flow of the game right now. It's more on Mikos roaming around, yeah. putting more added pressure to each lane, being a bard. But I gotta say, the nerves really do hurt. And now, Kitanda, eyeing the bot lane. Jules. There are no wards to spot him out yeah, here. Yeah, he's left alone there. Not to mention, grabbing the resources yeah. away. Very efficient here. Yeah. Just waiting for the wave to push in. In the meantime, he's getting the Krugs. This might be a little bit dangerous. There is no Tempered Fate for Mikos. There is the Ignite oh if everyone want to gank and dive here. Oh, the Enchanted Crystal Arrow does not hit. For a second there, I think Ghost just thought that Grace was the enemy. Mm. A bit too far behind, so Yeah, they were targeting Mikos, but yeah. the, the Mikos not get it not falling for the positioning bait. So that is a little bit wait, a little bit time wasted by Kitanda there. Biggest thing here is that yeah, these two junglers haven't putting out haven't been putting out a lot of pressure, as yeah. you said. Which which actually hurts Admu more. Because they're the ones that want to snowball faster. They're the ones that want to end the game much faster than ADDU. That's why Mikos has the Ignite, so Jules can be have a lot more kill pressure. Uh, and also, the Rome oh, might have more kill pressure. Oh, there's Ooh. the pressure. You've been talking That's about Atlas. It. Wow. It's a little bit too late for the first uh, successful uh, kill gank. 
but for Zen, but still giving it onto Sino, giving him two kills is very big. Um, two actually, yeah, two O now ADPU. Yeah, yeah, they lose control of the Drake as well. Yeah, no teleport from Happy. No teleport at, at all. I don't think he can respond to this. And not to mention, Zeno is 2-0 right now on a Syndra. Mm. Already got the key component. Plus 40 CS lead over Spirit. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of gold. Not to mention, the spike is here. Spirit is in big trouble. Yeah. Now that the... Ooh, man. Yeah, Gosu I'll does take out Mikos, though. That's going to be the 80 carry of Gosu. Uh, ooh, Poopy. Teleporting back to the top lane. Oh man, in the top lane, the Hoopy is doing pretty well in terms of CS and lane mm. control. Denying Happy of some CS is okay, but you cannot deny the fact that he will scale into lake him. They really have to p pick up that early Morello, which is going to be good. But Jules. Yeah, Zeno does pick it up. Yeah, Jules also has to pick up another item similar to that. But right now, oh, Parley! A big trouble, it works a full channel, and wow, a lot Ooh. of damage coming from Gosu. A heal will finish off, not so much. Duels, however, Ooh. takes in a trade, but in the end, Gosu comes up top. Yeah, Gosu comes up on top of that. Stop. That was actually the resonating strike, just barely stopped by the auto attack. Now Gosu's in trouble, though. I don't think there's a way he can escape this, unless Sino misses there it. There it is. Mm. He does, yeah. and click. Doesn't even need to point and click. Oh, no. flash the unleash <laughs> power does not need to be used there. You just flash in to ensure the stun hits and to ensure everything else can be finished off. Wow, the first third objective is still up though. I yeah, mean, Kitanda might be one of the one to get it with Spiri. Uh, now Mikos is gonna try and deter that, but is red buff onto Kitanda? Spiri on a champion that's not really too big of a turret pusher. Now Spiri's in trouble. Oh man, except he will be going oh, for the double bump Zeno on a rampage. And now Spiri forced out the flash. Oh, man, a little bit too overconfident on that turret. See, this is what happens when you give two kills on a Syndra. Now it's he big has trouble. four. <laughs> four zero kills. Four zero on that Syndra is going to be very scary. <laughs> So, and now this actually leaves Admiral open to get a Rift Herald. And this is going to be big because they have been roaming around, grouping up, which means that their Rift Herald, the time that they use Rift Herald, they will have also the numbers advantages in terms of champions against ADDU. And I don't know what happened to ADDU back there. They were, their, their laning should have been fine. Uh, they were, they should have been satisfied with yeah. the kind of slow paced uh, playstyle that Admiral was playing. But now, they get taken advantage of by Zen. They get ganked a lot, giving a lot of uh, kills onto Sino. Mm. And they should have been playing their lanes more carefully. And I think that's the reason why. You give a leave onto Zeno, more pressure in the other lanes. Mm. And that's big trouble. Not to mention the Rift Herald is in the hands of Zen. So he's free to use it wherever he wants. But I think the mid lane is a very easy target. Not to mention Spiri is very behind in yeah. itemization. Josu being 4-1 is great for ADDU, but... Is it uh, enough? It's, it's, it's not enough just yet. He needs to scale up a lot fast, a lot uh, longer compared to, say, Zeno. Zeno, once he gets four kills, he reaches his spike already. <laughs> he reaches the damage spike where he can just one-shot anyone on ADD. On the other hand, Gosu still needs more time and gold to scale up as an AD carry, which is like the, ana the, unnatu the natural, unfortunate uh, circumstance of having your AD carry fed compared to your mid laner fed is that your mid laner has a lot more impact right now. Gosu needs more time. More time and more resources. Yeah, not but, to mention. But Admu is not going to give him that. Yeah, this is going to be the last day of the group stages. No cutting corners here. And I gotta say, the switch around with the roster on Gosu and Happy is really showing a difference. Yeah, it is. Happy seems like uh, the shot calls aren't there, but the, the laning earlier. Well, uh, really giving away ganks, uh, giving away kills oh, to Sino. Man. That wasn't unhappy. Still the problem. Now, it, they are standing on a ward here, but that oh, can they even boy. run away? This black shell oh, is dear. on the ghost and Poopy kind of has to flash away from the turret. He's in a lot of trouble. Look at the damage. Hero's entrance to run away. That's a wasted ultimate. Here comes Kitanda for the flag, but pays the price. Gets Ooh. a lot of damage, but Mikos will be securing that kill. Here comes Sino from the mid lane. Oh, that was pretty close. Barely. Though. Barely. Barely close. Wait, Gosu in that fight fired his enchanted crystal arrow backwards. Yeah, I mean, he was expecting to land a stun onto Foopy, but... Yeah, if Foopy, if he had stunned Foopy, that would have been a kill. He would not have had the ability to jump out with a hero's entrance, or in this case, hero's exit. Right. So I'm 
That was an unforgivable mistake coming but from Gosu. I think in the end he's pretty happy he did one he get a kill, but the fact that other members of Admiral is scaling up more compared to ADDU. Yeah, and now Panda zero and three. Yikes. He's uh losing a lot of pressure from earlier. He's losing a lot of power. <laughs> three daggers. Gonna try and go for a Phantom Dancer next. Means no. that his damage, his burst damage won't be as much. His DPS might be uh on par, but still. Building into the Phantom Dancer. Uh, even when you're not really super ahead, should have just gone for the Black Lever. Yeah, wouldn't you normally want to shred armor for Gosu? For Gosu, for yourself even. The Phantom Dancer doesn't give you more AD for your end of the line, for your collateral damage. Oh boy! Oh, so you know, there is yeah, the no, revenge kill. No point speed. using the cleanse there, but still. I don't know why he was positioning himself that way. He could have been warding, yes, but... Uh, there are a lot of ways to ward that brush without wow. putting yourself in danger. And that's going to be the first turret of the game onto ADDU. Very good for ADDU. They will catch up in terms of gold. But I got to say, the flow of the game is pretty similar. We've seen how Admin plays style. I mean, mm. when they get a kill onto another lane, they got a pressure to the bottom lane, to the top lane. But the problem is they didn't get an objective yet. They did get the uh, Mountain Drake, which is huge. But did they get a first turret? It's going to be another no. Mountain Drake up now. Ooh, they uh, have some of the Rift Herald for the first tier turret. They should have used it to get the first turret. That would have been so worth. But right now, look at them. They just leave the Rift Herald to, I mean, distract distraction. But yeah, yeah they just get squawked by the Crystallize. No, it, I see. Actually, the Rift Herald does not care. It will go yeah, through yeah. anyone. Yeah. Does get, but still, that's just half health. Yeah. The first turret did not matter because we're already dead. Gosu just walks out of the Tempered Fate. Yeah, it's five. The thing is that. Yeah, that's going to be the search and win link, we forgot to say. But of course, we'll be having search and win for the other games for today. Just fill out the form. If you're the first to answer the question directly, you will be getting oh! that mystery gift. Miko has to flash out. Control of the Drake onto ADDU. No chance for an Admiral Steel. Ooh. Ow, a bit too close yeah. for Xena. Yeah, too and late, too late. Yeah, and not to mention, Miko's went into a magical journey to see, oh boy, where did I end? Oh boy. <laughs> where Gotta did flash I out of here. Go flash out of here. But and not to mention, we have to see coordination coming from yeah, Admiral. We have yet to see that. Like, of course, Sino is doing very great uh, on his own, getting a lot of ganks from Zen, getting some roams from Mikos. But the combination of this roaming squad, the uh, Zen, Fufi, and Mikos, still needs a lot of coordination that we haven't seen just yet. We saw it earlier an attempt in a, a bot lane dive. It didn't go out to, as cleanly as it would have. They missed a little uh, CC against Gosu. Jules was very vulnerable. Um, in that fight as well, so it really needs to be a lot of uh, coordination. If not, the sheer power of ADDU scaling up later in the game, that's the important thing, later in the game, so they have a time limit before oh, wow. Sino starts to fall off because he hasn't been getting more kills, but if he gets, um, so they have to focus on giving Sino more kills and, and Jewel surviving. Well. The time limit you said, if Zeno ever gets more kills, won't the time duration be extended? Yeah, will be extended. Yeah, but, but they have to continuously do that. Because, uh, yeah, sure, Zeno gets a kill, his time limit is extended. But at the same time, if he's the only one getting these kills, getting the gold, it's Happy scaling up, Spirit scaling up, Gosu scaling up. It's three of them scaling up into the late game compared to Sino, the only one getting kills. So they really need to uh, fix that. Uh, and Jules also has to step up Yeah, and this more. is the problem where Jules is not stepping up yet. One, two, Runa's Hurricane, just for split pushing power, but right now he has yet to get a really decent combat item, which will be an if in the edge. But a Runa's Hurricane is okay, but compared to Gosu on the Blade of the Ruin King Ash, I gotta say that Gosu can actually do well, Jules. And okay, though, mention, wait. The threat of Sino is actually showing Gosu with his lead. Yeah. It, it, it leaves him open to build a hex tech, uh, rather a hex drinker, but I don't think that's. Um, well, he does have the black shield from yeah. the Morgana, so. So a little bit more magic damage uh, protection plus a little bit of uh, that that hex that hex drinker shield will help against the yeah. uh, power, but. Uh, also need to be careful. The rivalry is so real right now, Atlas. I mean, you can only sense that I'm the better team. I'm the better Ateneo is <laughs> what the, these teams are trying to tell each other. And right now, we're going to be seeing that I'm the better freshman. <laughs> Man, but still, you know, Spiri being 1-1-0 one, one, and zero isn't too bad for an Anivia. But giving those four kills from across the map for ADDU is pretty bad. 
now seems like the Baron Pit is the apple of their eye. My God, look! I'm very scared for Go. I'm very scared for Atmu. For Ghost. Look at that! Look at that animation. Oh dear. Ah, the slow, the kiting coming from the Blade of the Ruin King. Not to mention the sustainability as well. Yes, it's really painful. And if ever Asino uh, does use all these equipment, and right now a cleanse has been used. That's a oh dear. Oh. It's like this. Uh, the Black Shield, of course, is very useful for blocking CC. But the thing is, see no CC, the scatter the weak. It's all it all the combo already breaks your Black Shield. Oh, Jewel. Look oh, at man. that! Collapse on the top lane of Admiral! Zeno, bye bye, but wait, Migos is here for the tempered fade, nicely tied there. But goes to goes in for flash, but gets pushed back with a stun. And now ADDU will have to oh, back Mikos away. Migos going in, comes in, but pays the price, giving Carly a kill. But look oh. at goes to sustain, send goodbye. Oh man, that was a pretty sloppy fight on both sides. Zeno lives through all of that, gets a kill from it. Which wow. is good, but losing three lives, losing a turret. Zen didn't follow up immediately on Mikos's call. Let's look at that, yeah. Uh, of course, Kitanda gets the revenge uh, kill against uh, everything. Rather, Sino gets the revenge kill against Kitanda, takes him out. Now it's going to be 3v1. Tempered Fate is already uh, buying them so much time. So here, uh, Zen goes for... Yeah, ah, look at here, yeah. Here. Mikos goes through oh the, the journey, but he was not there to immediately follow up. He didn't even need to go through the uh, magical and journey because the they would have been uh, jumped on. The thing is, he could have just uh, rotated around immediately instead of walking around. My god, that was very painful. Not to mention, got baited out. No sloppy. Out. <laughs> yeah, sloppy and got baited out by the heal and flash. Go Sue. I gotta say, the Ross, the road changes, is paying off for ADDU. Whereas Atmu, they started a fight where they were lacking members. Where was Jules in all this? Where is he? He's yeah. still trying still to farming. reach the itemization spike. Still being taken down. The thing is that 0, 3, and 3 as a Lee Sin is terrible. Like, uh, he has been getting these ganks for Sino, but compared to before, Zen hasn't been uh, really stepping up as he usually does. Usually on a Lee Sin or a high pressure early game jungler like this, he would have a bigger kill participation uh, and better pressure. Oh boy. Sperry gets the blue buff. And yeah, right now it would be Kitana. Not to mention, Kitana is also having a hard time, not mm. because of the lineup of both teams. But yeah, having to go for uh, the Phantom Dancer and the Hex Ringer, defensive yeah. offensive items. It's the fact that th it's not the pressure from the lanes. It's the fact that there was no follow up. That was a small mistake. Yeah. Mikos called it. Zen was not there, and that's what happened. Giving Gosu another kill plus two assists. Losing three lives and a turret off of that is big. Uh, yeah. And, the and that's gonna be Infernal Drake. Atwood wants this. He wanted on Sino. But it seems like ADD right now has the has the control over this area of the map. Trying to go for a pincer attack. Here, no, come, might be here comes Tempered Fate to delay the dragon. Who will get the dragon? It will be oh, Atmo taking away the Inferno. And now Mikos trying to stun that Sperry. He gets caught up by Happy. And now Zen goes in on to God. Ah, he gets taken down with a shot down. And Happy just by time with the Zonius. But right now here comes Jules for the volley. Trying to clean up the fight, and Happy does get a revenge kill, but that will be more of a trade off. Oh, Jules. Jules will be catching up, and now Carly left to watch his wow. teammate die. Very sloppy. This entire game has just been very sloppy from both sides. There, what happened was Kitanda should have just smited that. When the Tempered Fate was over, the Drake was already in range for a smite kill, and Kitanda didn't take it. Zen uh, was able to take it out first. And look at the air. Uh, they kind of overcome it here. They get cornered by the taunts here. And look at this. This was already within smite range. 500, 600. That was smite range for level 13 graves. And then they fall apart. Jewel, Gitana tries to duel the, the jewels. He's long range. Sniper rifles always trump shotguns here. In terms All right. Of range. And, Man. and then, which leaves the rest of ADU. Yeah, scattered. Scattered. And of course, Happy gets a kill against Sino, but all that time 
it's not enough damage from Spiri to take away uh, the, those two members because Foopy is a very magic damage tanky guy. Three to four Trey plus the Infernal. That's all for Atmo. Still, it was a four for four mm -hmm. in the end. The but still, the biggest prize there was the Infernal Drake. And I don't know what, what Kitana did there. Did not smite. That is inexcusable as a jungler. And right now, I think Jules already performed pretty well. Coming back from that deficit with a triple. Let's hope he can pull off the yeah, same thing. That was thing. a pretty good kiting, but I don't think that was a huge uh, show of scale. Because after all, it was sloppy from both sides. Kind of just taking advantage of that by right-clicking, uh, kiting as a Caitlyn. But still, that's huge. Getting those three kills onto Jules puts him on the map here. On, almost on par with Gosu. He now has three items built. The Runon's Hurricane, the Rapid Fire Cannon, and the IE. Yikes. Very Spiri. scary. Uh, if they get fought by Barb, now Spiri is in a lot of trouble. He does get the damage Oh, wow. I Great play coming Ooh. from Zed to secure a kill onto Spiri. And now here comes the redemption to rejuvenate Bob. You can see that Hoopy actually killed the turret. And now Carly is very low for the burst. And oh, Jules. Oh, Jules is stuck. Jules is stuck. And stuck again in the mid lane turret. He is in very low health he right lives. now. He lives to see another day. But that was careless stepping in. But not to mention, Kitanda also made such really bad mistakes. Also, Spiri yeah. making the crucial Getting mistake. Getting out as well yeah. and being left open. They should have known that there th there should have been more wards there in their own jungle. And Zen, Zen, it was that door was right open for Zen to do a play as a Lee Sin, get that kick there uh, to take out their carries, to help out Jules. And Jules almost dying there, but no one was there to finish off the kill. And not to mention, we did see that Spiri. Wow, he was really dangerous. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. Let's look at what happened here. This Zed, is a mistake. Spiri takes oh the Sonic my Wave. God. And the insect kick was easy, easy for him after that. Plus, that was the insurance coming from Poopy's ultimate here. Now Kitanda has to be isolated from the, the rest of his team and get solo killed by Mikos after all the damage. <laughs> Yeah, then he just you get gets solo killed taken. by a bard. It's not really solo kill, but rather he was finished off solo. Yeah, but I gotta say, Kitanda does not have the damage. Yeah, and, and so, and now Gosu doesn't have a solid front line anymore because Happy oh got taken down. Uh, Happy was barely in a uh, barely in a condition to tank for him. So ADZU, he they have two. Uh, AD carries, but they don't have a solid front line to yes, make up for it. The happy not, yeah, happy not being able to uh, tank very well. He's not that ahead. He's 204, but that's not enough. And his itemization uh, and his stats aren't enough to be a really solid front line. Same with Spiri. Spiri doesn't really need to be a front line, but that's the biggest problem here is that, yeah, now there, Admu was able to get the coordination of their composition up, leave Jules open to just free hit and then recover his health with Warlord's Bloodlust, and Sino being able to just burst them down, nuke them down, allows Fupi, Zen, and Mikos, that's uh. where they were able to get that coordination, rather the Galio, Lee Sin, Lee Sin goes in uh, for the insect kick, and then Fupi follows up with the hero's entrance to ensure everything plays very smoothly. And for the win conditions of ADDU, I don't think it's onto the Crystal Arrow. Of course, you do pick up someone, but where's the follow-up? No yeah. one in the lineup can actually follow it up. Who can do they it? They don't have hard engage. Yeah, they don't have they, hard engage. Of course, they have Enchanted Crystal yes. Arrow, but what after that? Nothing. What comes after that? I mean, they can have the bind. They can have Kitanda's damage. But, but Kitanda doesn't have damage. <laughs> yeah, he does not even have the Black Cleaver yet. I don't know why he did not build a Black Cleaver to help Gosu deal that damage. He has DPS when he's auto-attacking. But yeah. can you really hope to auto-attack against uh, a Galio, against a Syndra, against a Caitlyn? It's definitely not possible. It's you only have you have to be the one to burst them yeah, down yeah. after the jet. It's only Harry possible. Hits. But if, he has no AD. Yeah, that's all, that's the fact. You have to have damage for that to work. And right now, I gotta say, that would have been their win conditions. Yeah, that's in the, the clash. perfect scenario for them. But the itemization is all wrong. I think he over uh, over committed onto itemizing against Sino. I think he still thinks that he would be the duelist here, but once he's 3 KDA, you gotta adjust. Yeah. You gotta build the Black Cleaver for and sh and Shred. It's like this. I think he overcommitted into not dying against Sino. He has a he has a Hex Drinker, he has a Phantom Dancer, but F and he's building into the Death Dance to uh -huh. further mitigate Burst, oh, but boy. Jules is the one dealing damage after Sino nukes them down, and Kitanda is not in a position to DPS against that Warlord's Bloodless Empowered Jules. 
Oh man, I love it right now. The confidence is showing onto Zeno, onto Zen, onto Fumi. He can take it all in. He does not mind, but the DPS is too much. But Kitanda, the rest of the team now I don't know trouble. what he's doing here though. He has yeah, to look, the damage saved. from his spells is not enough. The auto attack damage, yes, is there, but. Graves not being able to follow up to the Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Spiri as well. Uh, it takes some time for Spiri's damage to uh, rack up in a team fight. Happy yeah. trying to do some wave clear, but the team fight that you mentioned, it's very difficult to picture. They have a frontliner, let's see, Happy. But they also have to depend on Spiri's AoE. Oh, but man. oh wow! Zen gets caught out. Zen gets caught out. That's a bit of miscoordination. Yeah, they still get the turret. And then they immediately rotate out. They got what they wanted already. Turret. Get in, get out. Very well. It seems that Admiral is shaping up. Of course, the gold is still very even. It's five. But most most of the gold is distributed among Gosu and Spear. Uh, yeah, the highlight Gosu. of this match. But the thing is, is the power spikes. Right now, Admu is around the peak of their power. They have two Mountain Drakes. They have an Infernal Drake, oh which boy. is big. Um, Jules has his three items. Uh, and Sino, 7-2-2, two, and two, has his Void Staff, <laughs> has his Rabidon's Death Cat, has the Morellos to stop Happy's regeneration and the healing that Gosu wants. So the thing here is, uh, even though the gold is even, it's multiplied by Admu's composition and the fact that ADPU, yes, they have the gold, but can they use the gold? Oh, Sino might be in trouble here, though. Ooh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Heroes that just in. Oh, <laughs> dear. That just no damage. He does quick draw away, but ditching his team, Spiri, with no mobility, there is the Spell Shield. Thankfully, just in time. Yeah, Black Shield was there, but not able to finish Look off the damage. Just That's a sliver so of health. And yeah, Kitanda could have just easily taken it. Of course, maybe, yeah, you can say, oh, the Phantom Dancer saved him there, but still, you know. If he had anything else there, Sino would have been, uh, wouldn't target. have reached this point of fedness. Uh, the thing is, yeah, as I was saying earlier, the gold is very even. 400, 300 gold separates these two teams. But because of how the compositions are structured, Admu has a solid front line and a solid end gauge coming from Fupi and Zen, which means that their gold, which is on Sino and on Jewels, can be used effectively. On the other hand, Kitanda uh, so trying to do some front line, but that's oh not dear. gonna pay. And wow, two man separate phase. There's the collapse on the Fufi. Three man taunt and a knock up onto Kitanda, forcing out his flash. Zen goes in for a giant rage. However, Gosu is there for the attack, and look at the damage coming oh from Gosu. Oh boy, come on. There we go. Ah, he does cleanse out though. That's a pretty. Shame for Joseph's crystal arrow and Fufi's there to tag the front line, but well, there's no teammates off. left. Zeno is blinking red and Jules is just walking away. Wow, it's quite a mistake done from Admiral. Baron's open. Baron, Baron is open. open. That's huge. Jules is standing around. Can he oh. go for a finisher? Oh, <laughs> egg form. Blocked by the egg. Saved by Spiri. Yep. And he hatches back out. Full health. Thank you. Thank you for so much. Spiri. Thank you for the free uh, regen. But the thing is, though, that only that happened because Zen overcommitted. Yeah, he went in. He went for a dragon's rage, but it only saved uh, oh. his target. Jules, though, danger close. Oh, dangerously close. Oh, He's trying going to for fight. a double play. Ah, yeah. Cannot go for that double play. <laughs> double feed. <laughs> That's more of a. I don't know what Jules was thinking. Maybe because he thought that the members were very low. Very but low, but still not enough. You gotta respect. Respect yeah, as I was saying, yeah. the gold was very even. Yeah. Now it's 3k divide, uh, separated by 3k. Not that huge at 36 minutes, but they were ADDU was able to do that. I was saying that, of course, ADDU has uh, very close in gold, but they can't use it because they keep getting, uh, they can't get their damage out because they don't have front line there. Zen and Poop, Zen overcommitted to doing the insect play, which meant that it Admu lost a front line, which means that ADP was more free to pull out their damage. And definitely the damage really showed with a 7, 2, and 6, Gosu and Spiri just DPSing and blocking them out with a Crystallize. And yeah, I mean, when it comes to team fights, the Crystallize will be helpful, but it's very... The walls. Yeah, the wall is very them. annoying for Fuki. He cannot bypass the wall. And not to mention, when it comes to a team fight, a long-extended fight, 
it would be on to Gosu. Did more Gosu. damage? Yeah, Not to mention to the positioning of Gosu is much is, is it's better. Much better. It's better than and also Zen was le left himself open to be taken out. Yeah, overcommitted. Then he was able to use the rest of his kit to support his team. So really unfortunate for them, but a huge misplay coming from that, which left them open to what I was saying. That just uh, opened the floodgates for the damage coming from ADDU. What's the win condition for them? The win condition for them is like, Admood, they don't always have to do the insect kick and then follow up with heroes and friends. They don't need to do that. They can just have Boopy engage in with the Justice Punch, have Zen uh, do, go for the engage, sure, go for the engage, but don't be so focused fixated on, on that. fixated on the Dragon's Rage initiation that you lose all sight of being a frontline for your team and just end up dying for no reason with Gosu Aye. left alive because he doesn't have the damage to assassinate. He needs to be the one, one of the front lines for his team. And Foopy doing so much work there, but not quite enough. I gotta say that itemization coming in from the support Carly really complimenting that yes. Ash. They, a lot of ways they can mitigate uh, the damage coming from Admu, the Solari, the Redemption. Uh, of course, both supports have that, but the Solar, the Lock of the Iron Solari, and the Redemption extend the fight. Extend the fight, so right? Well. And yeah. the longer the, the fight goes, the better the damage from ADDU becomes. Because after Sino his unleashed power, of course, he might assassinate the target, but with all those shields and healing, that might not be possible anymore. He can still go on to Gosu, but uh, he has the Bob Malmortius. So not now, to mention. coming into this late in the game, ADDU is reaching the point where uh, they have scaled very nicely. And yeah, going to the itemization, Poopy stacking a lot of health, but that's all negated from the Blade of the Ruined King. Yeah. That's why he does not last too long. And right now, Kitana on a death dance. Very late death dance, but... Now he's still starting to scale up. Yeah. Because before, I, we were saying, okay, ADD, you can't use their gold because they keep getting blocked from doing that gold because they don't have a front line. But now that they have that uh, enough power and their power spikes to just uh, overpower Admu, it might be enough. Jesus, look at ADDU. Carly's kill participation, though. Props. The Morgana, it has a 15 out of 16 kill participation. Wow, wow, wow. And right now, Happy, man, pressuring the top lane. And not to mention, we're seeing a response. Yeah. We're seeing a response. And Gosu and Happy what? baiting out the Elder Drake means that they deny those that 50% boost coming from Admu. They got played like a scab. Yeah, they got played like a fiddle there. Scabber. I mean, got completely baited out yeah, by... I don't know what happened there. They just gave away the Infernal. They gave uh, the Elder. They gave away the Barret. ADDU. The win conditions are not just right there, but they do have the tools right now. Very strange. It can work because they have damage. They have burn. Now they have damage. They have Gosu on the aspect of the dragon. Oh dear. It's going to be a lot of burn. Still, they don't have the optimal use of it because they lost the three other drakes of the game, but still, that's the a burn. huge deny the burn as well is very effective and right now looking at the itemization of gosu look at that oh dominic's regards i mean fupi will have to really be smart this time he can't just recklessly go in knowing that he does have the armor penetration the red buff the blade of the ruined king and the aspect of the dragon and will really has to try and make no mistakes no room for amateur mistakes in the group stages. Definitely. It's, it's still very sloppy from both teams. Like, I cannot deny, of course, uh, right now ADDU is now in the lead, 7,000, and the Elder Drake to help them in combat. But the w the point, the way that they reached here is very sloppy. So I, I don't know what's happening there. It's like, Ad was well, so sloppy so far. Like, even if they turn this game around and get like a 1-0 oh. so far, he goes dangerous. So the thing here is that uh, right now ADDU, they can survive through the burst of Admu. They've built the Maw of Malmorius, the Death's Dance, the Phantom Dancer. Now the itemization from the kit down that might work out now that he has completed his component items, but not <laughs> when he catches, gets cat caught out. Kitanda, what were you thinking? One member down, 
Let's do it! Admo. Now Admo. Facing a blocking, having a barricade. Yeah, they had to stop that siege because Kitanda took himself down. It wasn't Sino that took him down. Kitanda took himself down there. There was no reason to hang around there. Even if you're saying that, oh, I'm gonna burst someone out as they try to go for happy, it's not going to work out if it's Sino yeah. that finds you. My god, I mean, if you, if you think you'll burst the person, Leave it to Zeno to destroy your dreams. It's really about Spiri and Gosu right now. On yeah. the other hand, on Admu, it's also about uh, their mid lane, bot lane. See? I gotta say, man, if we're gonna be talking about the freshmen, how they're playing out right now, I gotta say that Spiri is more collected compared to Jules. Mm. They yeah. have similar KDAs. Yeah, they have similar KDAs, but, but it seems like Spiri has been pulling yeah. out a lot more value for his team. But also leave it to Gosu for the recent changes. Right yeah. now, it's showing. I think ADDU. When they started with this roster, uh, the ADC role changes, it's paying off really so well. Yeah. I mean, Gosu is a huge threat. 7 to 6 on an Ash with KDA like that, you know that person ha knows how to position, knows when to go in. Prepare oh, there, there. And initiation. And, yeah! Boopy, though, gets stunned out, flashed away, gets blocked by Carly, and now he will be trying to go out with an exit, but gets blocked by Gosu. What objective can they take from that, however? They're eyeing this Baron. bot lane turret. Or the Baron is live. Eh? Baron is also Baron. live. Death timers are pretty long, but that is quite a ways away. The other side of the map might just be going for this bot lane turret. It is pretty low, and they do have a Mountain Drake. They do have Gosu for the DPS as well. And Kitanda also is there for the assist. Kitanda's just trying so hard to be a flanker here. But the thing is, and whenever he tries to flank, he just gets absolutely bursted down. Oh, Over the wall is very, very classic. Zed goes in deep, but fails. Oh, three tempered fate. But as gonna be. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Also, three man stun. Great follow up from Zeno. But there is the cleanup. Where is it? Nadia's there. Kitana is there to clean up. But the Guardian Angel is there. Look at the <laughs> redemption. Carly. <laughs> Come on, boy. That's uh, not magic. Damage. Orbital nuke detected. <laughs> it does go on to Carlay. It's not magic damage. You can't shield that. It's true damage. Orbital nuke. <laughs> uh, that does happen though. It is huge. That, yeah. That's a huge death timer. Sp uh, spirit shackles. Soul shackles are down. Okay, yeah. so you gotta break that down. <laughs> yeah, here comes the tempered fate. Of course, the, the coordination. binding, the coordination, everything there. Wow. Ooh, look at the timing of yeah, that stun. Man. Just just in time and look at that huge burst there but because of all those magic damage shields uh, they weren't able to finish off everything so look at those two low health members and Carly. look at Carly, Carly. <laughs> <laughs> tries to block the Spiri was also very close to kill range yeah, tries so. to block the true damage now ha happy quite tanky but not the enough. previous wound is paying the price and here it oh, comes oh here it comes the entrance happy will be taken down the sword is Wait. there Kitana from the back lane takes down Zeno and goes on to Just Jules and he misses the end of the line. Kitanda pays the price. What? But he will have a, a trade-off with Jules. Weird. It's, it's like Jules could have He walked. He walked. I mean he, he walked. of course he was going for the uh, Warlord's bloodlust, but he walked too much. The orb walk should have just been a split second. Let's look at that. Happy, of course, gets caught out after leaving Sino a little bit low. And here comes <laughs> here comes Mikos trying to open up an entrance for Fupi. Does succeed at the cost of his life, which leaves it open for the first. Oh. And Kitanda finally gets Sino down. Let's Happy see. gets taken uh, down. Jules right yeah, now. Kitanda, let's look at how all of that happened. He popped the heal. Yeah. Crit damage up. Yeah. It's Let's happening see. here. Oh, he had ah. to move out of the yes, smoke screen. The smoke screen but was there. in the fight before that, it seems like the orb walk. He was walking too far. Yes. I think he has enough attack speed uh, to not have to walk that far to, to get the auto attack. But he was blinded, walk. so he, he was. To. Yeah. But after, but before the smoke screen, I think he was walking too much. Uh, the, the the walking to attack ratio was uh, too big. And right now, the game reaching the 45 minute milestone. I gotta say, no one is gonna give uh, give it up here. This is the death, sta death group stage. Oh and man, but now ADDU is ahead like 9,000 gold. The pride is on the line. I am the better branch. Of oh my dear. That is gonna be the game plan, the story for this entire map. The bragging rights. Because <laughs> after all, this is one of the first times. Actually, this is the first time in an interconference series, in an LCL group stage, two Ateneos uh, faced up against each other directly.
So this is really also um, brand, uh, like rivalry, rivalry, like sister school, uh, campus pride on the line. Because even if Admu wins this uh, 2-0, that's kind of slim. The chance I have to admit that their chances of beating Howl down uh, are, are kind of slim or TOP. Uh, oh, oh. Still though, ooh, Zen, Zen, Zen to go for hero play. Zen, trying to but go yeah, for it. Even if Admu reaches six points. Still a long shot. So this is really about ah, school pride. Come on, Kitana. Not the same mistake again. Zeno will be there to lock you down. And right now, happy in the ball. I think lane. Kitanda can afford to make those aggressive flanks now, however. Yeah. He has a Guardian Angel. He can just act as a nuke for his team. Yeah, it's very annoying. Annoying for Zeno for the black shield on to I don't know why he's facing up one DT though. Yeah, I think he really wants to clear out those waves, but. Look at the black shield, and now Ooh, a oh stun, man. a follow-up. Gosu will be backing away, and now he is free to hit. No one's even touching him. Gosu takes down Zeno. He goes in too deep. He wants Zen, but it would be Fufi trying to get away. And now this is what I was talking about. Gosu with the positioning and the there timing. Happy to clean up. Ash, and now Happy goes in deep, but gets kicked towards oh, the turret. Oh. And there is the Zonius, and a cleanup from Katanda gives them the ace. Oh man, everything finally comes to this. The death timers are too long. This is oh good. Oh my god. This game is going to Ateneo de Davo University after a long game set. Yeah, long and sloppy game. ADDU finally takes it away when their gold, when all their gold what? finally finds an opening. They take them out. They take Admu out. They don't have enough damage to face up against the rest of ADDU. After Gosu uh, whittles them down, Kitanda and Happy clean them up. What just happened? I mean, what happened there the was. The small mistake. Yeah. Just they, get, they got opened up by the Cosmic Binding. You shouldn't group up that yeah. uh, in that lineup when you're up against a Bard. You get left open for the Cosmic Binding. Cosmic Binding, those are two quite important members. Just go in straight for Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Those two targets are enough. Then follow up with the rest of your damage. Katana DPS goes to DPS. And then have Happy rotate around the back to cut them off when they try to escape. Because they will be very weakened uh, after all of that. So which allows Kitanda and Happy to clean up. Gosu then just focuses on the turret then. My god, the positioning of Gosu, the damage yeah. he brought in, the pressure. Jules had the traps, but that was not enough. Yeah, and I think, uh, of course, Jules and Sino, lots of damage. Not enough to carry through the game. Because later, wow. the, their, their performance was very inconsistent. The smallest detail. The, the coordination yeah, was very amazing. inconsistent. On the other hand, ADDU had a lot of sloppy fights, but they took the right ones, uh, most of the right ones, and were able to take over the win. I got to hand it to ADDU. They came out on top. They were behind in the early phase of the game, but played it right, extended the game to, let's say, 45-minute mark. This is big for Ad, uh, for Admu, mm -hmm. mostly for Admu, because it's like this. They can no longer reach six points. The maximum they can get is four points. Uh, if they 1-1 this, they'll be left at uh, one point, and then they have another match that they can possibly 2-0. Two two <laughs> That's how. Uh, but still, it is, it is how, though. So... It's, uh, it's a long shot for yeah. them to reach out of semifinals, but this is about uh, this could be about campus pride. Yeah. Uh, Davo versus uh, Metro Manila. So it guys, seems like ADDU is wow. coming up strong. Wow, you saw it here, man. The smallest mistakes will really change the flow of the fight. I mean, I was not expecting that to be the winning game clash. Yeah. It was so extended to a point that I thought one member yeah, would be but alive. Yeah, happy and Kitanda just cleaned up and yeah. that just sealed the, the deal. The side, the flag. Yeah, but very sloppy leading up to that. Yeah, but at the end. That was just exploiting the right mistake. All right. So, guys, there you have it. That was the first game of the first match between Ateneo de Manila University versus Ateneo de Davao University. So you've just witnessed the first game. We'll be having a short break for the second game. We have been the Shopcasters. I am Vulcan, and joining with me is my co-caster, Atlas. See you after the break. Dragon, who will get the dragon? It was the oh, Apple taking away the Inferno, and now Mikos tries to start out sparing. He gets caught off by Happy, and now Zed goes in onto the Ash. He gets taken down with a shot down, and Happy just by time with the Sonyas. But right now, here comes Jules for the volley, trying to clean up the fight, and Happy does get a revenge kill. But that was more of a trade off. Jules will be catching up, and now Carly left to watch his wow, teammate back at the train. There's the collapse of the Fuki g man caught in a knock-up on to Kitanda, forcing out his flash. Zed goes in for Dragon Rage, however, Gosu is there for the attack, and look at the damage coming from Gosu. Oh 
boy. Come on. There we go. Ah, he does collapse out though. That's a pretty shame for Joseph's crystal arrow. And Kubi's there to tag the front line. But there's no teammates off. left. Seno is blinking red. And Jules is just walking Very away. classic. That goes in deep, but fails. Oh, three tempers today. But as good as oh boy. Oh wow, also team has stunned. Great follow-up from Zeno, but there is the cleanup. Where is it? Tanya is there. Kitana is there to clean up, but the Guardian Angel is there. Look at the redemption! Carly! <laughs> Come on, boy! That's uh, not magic damage! Orbital. Oh, oh, man. A follow-up. Gosu will be backing away, and now he is free to hit. No one's even touching him. Gosu takes down Zeno. He goes in too deep. He wants Zen, but it would be Fuki trying to get away. And now, this is what I was talking about. Gosu! With the positioning and the there timing, happy to clean up. Ash, and now Happy goes in deep, but it's kicking off the turn. And there is the soldiers, and a cleanup from Katana gives them the ace. Oh man, everything finally comes when to this. They go with all their gold. What? Finally finds an opening. They take them out. They take Ashley out. They don't have enough damage to mix up against the rest of the team. You do after goes to uh, whittles them down. Katana and Happy. Not enough Garena shells to buy the latest League of Legends skin on sale now? Get shells anytime, anywhere with your Globe or Touch mobile number. Go to gamer.com.ph and sign up with your mobile number and enter the verification code you will receive via SMS. Log in and choose the game and pin you want. Check out to purchase the PIN with your load or through your postpaid account and receive the PIN on your phone instantly. Never miss a sale on your favorite League of Legends skins and champions with Gamer.